Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Are you thinking of which keyboard to use with your iPad, whether the K480 or the K380? Watch and stay to see how to use these two keyboards with the iPad, how to connect it, how these are called multi-device keyboards, and how the typing feels or sounds like. While watching, consider clicking on the subscribe button. We are very close to 1,000 subscribers, and your support is very much appreciated. The Logitech K380 and the Logitech K480, these are two of Logitech's low-budget wireless keyboards. But definitely, it's high in quality and packed with functions that are very much compatible with the iPad. This is the battle of Logitech's white keyboards. Both keyboards come in different colors that you can choose from. The K480 comes in two colors, and for me personally, the black is quite too bold for my taste. The white color has the shiny texture, and for me, the quality looks lower compared to the K380. It is definitely bigger than the K380 because of the built-in dock, and so it also weighs heavier at around 820 grams. Speaking of the dock, it can fit my 11-inch iPad Pro with or without the case. And so I guess the rest of the iPads like the iPad Air 4 or the iPad 8th Gen will fit here too. I have been asked from other videos if the iPad Pro 12.9 will fit the dock. Here are the measurements so you can check if yours can fit. Basically, my iPad and my iPhone can both fit in here, whether it's my iPad Pro or my iPad Air 3. This is my iPad Air 3 and how the angle looks like docked on the K480. And also how the angle looks like without the case. This might be similar to the iPad 8th Gen. And here's the iPad Pro's angle with and without the case, which again may be similar to the iPad Air 4. The K380 is smaller and it obviously weighs lighter than the K480 at around 420 grams. It is available in five colors. For me, all look kind of minimal with its small build and subtle colors, even the black and the blue ones. The white version of these two keyboards gives a clean feel and perhaps will suit the minimalist kind of iPad user. But even a minimalist user may have several needs when using the keyboard with the iPad. And so these two Logitech keyboards can surely address those needs. Connecting these two keyboards to the iPad is pretty easy and straightforward. I have made dedicated videos for both of this, which you can also watch after this video. I've added the links below. But let me show you again how to connect these two keyboards. Connecting the K480, the first step is to flip the keyboard upside down or reach at the bottom, as that's where the power button is. Then, switch to your dial of choice, either 1, 2, or 3, and then press and hold on these buttons on the right to go into pairing mode. Then, finally, select the K480 name in the iPad's Bluetooth settings, and it's finally connected. Then, you can choose to prop your iPad using your case stand or dock the iPad on the K480's kickstand. Now moving on to the K380, but let me just say a disclaimer first here. This white K380 keyboard is not actually mine. This is my friend's new keyboard and my friend was really kind enough to let me unbox it and use it for this video. And so I can share it with you guys. My friend bought this from Lazada Thailand and usually Logitech Thailand provides the stickers for the Thai characters. Anyone out there who's using the K380 and your country uses non-English characters, do you get the stickers too? Let me know in the comment section down below. So connecting the K380 is pretty much the same as the K480. The only difference is that the power button is more conveniently located at the side and the three device switch is at the F1, F2, F3 buttons. Here, I'm choosing F2 to pair it with my iPad Pro. For 
for my experience of using these two keyboards, well, it's mainly my blue K380 that I really have extensive experience and not this white one. But I can still say that the connection has always been stable and no lags in typing. Switching to other devices is also smooth. I normally turn off the keyboards when I'm not using it. And reconnecting the keyboard back to my iPad or even my Windows work laptop is quite instant with just powering on the keyboard and pressing or turning to the chosen switch, either one, two, or three. Now for the battery life, again from experience, Logitech has built these two keyboards for batteries to last for a very long time. I've mentioned this in all my K380 videos and I will say it again, I haven't changed the original batteries on my K380. Maybe soon I will as it is now low in battery, that's why the indicator is red for my blue K380. Understandably enough, because it has been running for almost 4 years. The K480 on the other hand, I got this keyboard in January of 2020 and the battery life is still full. I don't see the battery indicator on my iPad but I can see it from the Logitech Options app I have on my Windows laptop. And as you see here, the battery says it's still full. Now, typing on this too is where we see, feel, and hear the differences. Obviously, the keys are different, and the K380 has the lower key travel and more silent clicks. In fact, I really like it as this is what I prefer, and the silent, more quiet typing. While the K480 has bigger keys, and though the keys are not exactly the same as mechanical keyboards, but the typing clicks sound like mechanical keyboards, and the key travel is higher than the K380. So, it is loud and definitely way louder than the K380. To better understand what I mean, let me show you and you can listen then to the typing clicks on these two keyboards. And to finish off, let me show you some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that work on both keyboards. Command Tab will switch to previously opened apps. Command H to go back to the home screen. To open Spotlight Search wherever you are in the iPad, use Command and Spacebar. In a web browser, to enter a URL, use Command NL. No need to touch the screen. Still in a web browser, if you want to close a tab, you can do Command and W. When typing, this is one of my most used shortcut. Shift, Command and arrow right or left will highlight the line and will let me move, cut, copy or move it to another different line. Alternatively, Shift, Control, arrow right and left will work the same. To highlight a word or some words and not the whole line, use shift alt and the arrow right or left keys the usual cut copy paste by command x c v and undo by command z all work the same in both keyboards to take a screenshot use shift command and three or you can use shift command and four to automatically go into the markup screen page to edit and write on or whatever you need to do on the screenshot. Lastly, on the K380, use Command, Control, and Q to lock the iPad. Tap any key on the keyboard to unlock it and activate Face ID. 
both the K380 and the K480 are good keyboards to pair with an iPad. The functions are fully compatible, the battery life is amazing, and the price is reasonable. For me personally, I like using the K380 because I prefer a more quiet typing. It really comes down to what is your preference. If you want a, me a more mechanical keyboard type of feel, then the K480 matches that. So, hope this video helps you to decide which one to get, and also hope the shortcuts can help you if you already own one of these. So that's it. Thanks for watching.